Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share some tips and advice within their industry. And today I am happy to have Mark Andy. Mark Andy, welcome to the Hi, show. Hey, good afternoon. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Why don't you explain to the viewers a little bit about yourself and what you do? I'm a massage therapist and I also have skills in a wide variety of types of therapy. Um, I specialize in acupressure and meridian style massage. And what that means is that I use uh, some of the models from Chinese medicine to support the person's uh, circulatory system. So meridians are circulatory pathways that travel through the body, and I work with them to support that circulation and uh, ultimately uh, better health and wellness and flexibility. Okay. So I'm, I'm familiar with meridians, but I'm used to hearing about them uh, with traditional acupuncture. Okay. Uh, is it similar? It is similar in that the model I use is um, comes from traditional Chinese medicine, and it's that's been around for over five thousand years. And uh, instead of acupuncture using needles, I use finger pressure. So that's primarily a difference is that uh, I feel the different points along the pathway and connect them together and gently lead them into. Uh, better flow or circulation. So it's kind of like you had a little kink in a garden hose and uh, I straighten it out and the circulation flows more easily. Okay, so if you're afraid of needles, you'd be a mm. good alternative. Yes, yeah. yes, okay. I use uh, finger pressure. Okay, very good. So what are some of the uh, benefits of this type of massage other than kind of like getting the, or making the flow better? Well, a lot of people experience uh, stress and body tension and that's the primary motivator they come to see me about. Um, so some of the benefits um, are pain reduction or, or uh, more flexibility uh, so that they feel more comfortable in their body, um, range of motion. Uh, one example specifically was um, I worked with a client recently who experienced a car accident and um, it was very traumatic for her and she had a lot of discomfort in the neck and shoulders. So I worked with her on the pathways or meridians, that circulatory system, to support that increased flow. And uh, I got that, uh, I helped her through that process and gave her some, some self-care tips, uh, some stretching and breathing exercises. Um, so what, then so also I go a step deeper. I go, well, how is it that she had this car accident and, and almost 10 years later is still experiencing the effects of it? So I asked her about um, what's the decision she made about that experience and what was, how did that formula create a continuing discomfort in her body? And she, for her, that car accident made her a better driver. She was more careful. So long as she thought about being a better driver, she was in the backside of it reinforcing the car accident. So what I did was uh, I asked her if she would be willing to re-decide that from uh, the neck and shoulder tension to looking in the rearview mirror. And she was willing to do that. So I connected those uh, or restructured the way those thoughts interacted with her body and uh, she had she had very uh, long-lasting results from the experience of restructuring the thought and increasing the circulation flow through the neck and shoulders. Okay, so that sounds very successful. Um, so why don't you explain a little bit about uh, what acupressure and meridian massage is like? Well, it's a little bit like traditional massage. In other words, uh, my clients will lay on a massage table and relax and I will go through an assessment process. So I will, before we get started, I'll ask them, okay, how's your relationship with your body? What, where do you feel uh, muscle tension or pain or discomfort? And if they say, well, my right shoulder is hurting, and then I'll ask them, well, uh, how's your left shoulder feeling? So I will try to get a very big picture of how they are interacting with their body and um, if they say, well, my back is hurting, I'll help them to identify what specifically part of the back is hurting. 
And while they're doing this, I will cross-reference uh, what's the emotion behind the discomfort. So any kind of tone emphasis they have on a certain area of the body. And also, does it tend to be more uh, right side or left side? And then I'll look at um, how that interacts with meridians. So I'm thinking uh, structures of language, uh, the emotional impact into the, the body, how long the condition has been present, and also uh, the meridians that are active in that area. Well, I really like the way you tie the, the, the mental thoughts in with the body because, um, yes. I mean, it is all connected, as, as we all know. So, well, very good. I appreciate the information and the time you took today to come out. Um, and any of you that would like more information and, to, and would like to talk to Mark Andy in person, um, check out his contact information at the end of this video. If you'd like to continue the conversation online, feel free to uh, add any comments uh, below this video. That's all we have for this week. Until next time, take care. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.